This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. Mayor Brandon Johnson says the city is committed to prioritizing working people as it responds to a half a billion dollar budget shortfall. WGN's Jenna Barnes has the latest details on Mayor Johnson's plans to close that gap. Well, Mayor Brandon Johnson is calling his budget forecast a significant challenge for the city. His office is estimating a $538 million budget gap because of not only rising costs for personnel and pensions, but also the cost to care for the new migrants arriving in Chicago. That piece falls under the special events projects line in the budget, which is estimated to go up by $149 million. That's nearly 300 percent driven, the city says, by services associated with new arrivals from the border. Johnson just spoke at the Palmer House Hilton at a conference hosted by the financial publication The Bond Buyer, addressing the next steps to help close this gap. Finding revenue streams that are sustainable, tied to our values, and building a budget um, around those values that does not place the burden on working people, and having a financial team that is committed to working tirelessly to ensure um, a budget that builds a better, stronger, safer Chicago. Um, those are the elements and dynamics that we're taking into this, this next phase of my administration. Johnson also said he won't balance the budget on the backs of working families, his office touting that he is keeping a promise not to raise the property tax levy. In the loop, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.